All right, here with uh, Chief Deputy Blake of the Ashton County Sheriff's Office. Chief, I just want to ask you a couple update questions on the homicide from Friday, right? Okay. Um, the first question, most of them, is this, uh, this is the first homicide of Ashland County, right? I mean, it's considered a, a homicide. And, and um, the second is, is, can you tell me a little more about the bolo that APD put out early Friday before he was even located? What was the reason for that or what was the timeline of that? or? What I understand, um, he and uh, another subject was supposed to be doing, going up to a house on 581 uh, to retrieve some property, and he did not return uh, that night. And the girlfriend got concerned and was calling around and couldn't get an answer. What I understand, the ex-wife started checking on him and found out that he did not go to work, which I think he was supposed to go Thursday night. Uh, she had called the PD, and I understand they had put a missing person report out. In the meantime, the girlfriend, uh, you have to, I'm not really 100% sure, the girlfriend, I have to go back and read the report, or the ex-wife, asked us to go up to 851 and check that. At first, we checked it, and the house was all secured. It was an empty house, really. It had just recently been sold. And um, so the officers checked it. They left, and they, the, uh, one of the females had called back, I think it was a girlfriend, and asked us to go back and recheck it, and there was some, we got permission from the owner to get in the house, which we did, and that's when we located him. And I think somewhere in it said that he was, was he located, what part of the house, basically, was he located in, or is that, or can you even say? I'd rather not say that okay. right now, because it's still an investigation, there's um, some BCI still doing some analyzing of the crime scene. Okay. Um, next question I had is, um, uh, do you have any suspects? We have a person of interest. A person of interest? Um, and you anticipate arrest soon? or? We always anticipate the sooner the better. I mean, they are working hard. Um, you know, Friday night, the APD detectives assisted us. You know, we had six to eight detectives working on it Friday, Saturday. Um, Right now, two of our detectives are up there at Lucas County, and they're performing the autopsy on the body right now, hoping to retrieve some evidence. Um, we did a search warrant at the person of interest's house, and we retrieved some items, so we're hoping to match up a few things. Um, and one of the readers was concerned uh, about the suspect, if it was classified a homicide or not. Is there anything that the community needs to worry about? No, I don't believe there's, there's no threat to the no, community. No, there's no threat to the community. And, uh, without disclosing too much, I think we got a good handle on it. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you could possibly release on this or that, that would be? Not at this time. I mean, you know, that we're early on in this. Um, a lot of things, you know, we got BCI here today. You know, we're processing uh, the, some more of the crime scene stuff. Uh, there's a lot of elements involved in this, and it's going to be a couple of days. Um, hopefully, we can make an arrest before the end of the week. I, really, I truly believe that. Ashton County, that I can think of, hasn't had a homicide in quite some time. Well, if you remember the one out on Bainey Road. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that one. So that was our last one. So that's been a while. Yeah. All right. Well, Chief Deputy Blake, I appreciate you taking time. I know you're busy, and uh, and we'll if you hear anything, please let me know, and and we'll get back with it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.